Hi everyone, Melissa here. Today I got a new color in that is just incredibly, incredibly unique. Um, and I'm excited to work with it. So this is called Black Opal Dream and it's from One Sparkly Mermaid Dip Powder. They uh, make a lot of really cool, unique colors with like huge flakes and thermal and just all kinds of stuff that you don't see anywhere else, which is fantastic. And this dip is 100% something that I've never seen anything like it before. And it looks like black opal. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in this. You can't tell what it like, what's in here by just looking at the top of the jar, but um, it does have black foils in it, some gold foils. It has all kinds of opaly, beautiful goodness in there, but just the way it all ends up layering um, and the way like the foils bleed out, I think all of it really goes together to make the perfect kind of beautiful opaly look. And um, as soon as I saw it, I was excited to get it. I was excited to work with it and um, immediately thought geode. I've never done a geode nail before and I've wanted to. Um, I just haven't really thought of any technique for it that made me excited, but this makes me excited. So that's what I'm gonna be working with today. I'm gonna do um, a geode with this as the center part of the geode. Um, then the other parts of the geode I'm going to use, I'm gonna use a little bit of Blue Hawaii by Double Dipped. Um, and black. So I'm using Pistol by West Coast Dips. This is the black I have that doesn't stain. Um, so currently my favorite one. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of my gold transfer foil and we're just gonna, I don't, I don't know, have some fun with it. Um, but definitely how you work with this um, can kind of change up how it ends up looking. And um, I was playing with it and kind of playing with the bleeding of the black foil and I'm excited with the look that came from it. So I'm going to do the geode nail here. Um, I'll do a full dip of the black opal dream here because I must, I just feel like I need to, um, probably do, you know what? I'm going to start with these. Then I'm going to figure out what to put on the solid nails um, afterwards. This is one of those situations where I just can't quite visualize it, so I need to put those other ones down first. So I'm gonna start with just the solid. This, okay, I'm gonna pour this out into my um, little dipped in chaos container. I will link that below. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour it out here so you can see there's a lot of good stuff in there. And you could dip into this and if you use gel liquids, the black foils won't bleed or melt and you can keep kind of that solid black foil look, which is also really cool. And if you go to the One Sparkly Mermaid Facebook page or to their website, you can see other people that have worn this color where they've had it more where that black kind of stays um, together and it gives a really, really cool look. Um, or you're using dip liquids, it's, they're going to melt and you can play with how much you make it melt and you can kind of dab the liquids on so it melts very little, or you can swipe it through so that it really melts a lot and, and kind of bleeds, kind of like seeps into the glitters, which is cool, which is what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm actually going to start by trying to get, um, I'm going to try and isolate some of the glitters away from the foils so that in the bottom parts there's not too much of the black foil so I'm gonna go through and just kind of like go down and scoop some out so there are little pieces here but I don't have any large pieces and it's mostly there are these like tiny glitters tiny flakes I mean there's so much going on in this dip I could not even begin to tell you everything that is in here and I love that in a dip to pour over with this first part. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on a layer of my dip base. Mm 
Now when you pour over, you're definitely going to catch more of the small pieces than of the large pieces with the chunky glitter. So that's usually just a good way to get a good foundation of the sparkle onto the nail and then a second layer will add the chunkiness. So that's what I'm doing with that, how I'm doing it right now. Okay, now for this next layer, you'll notice that, oh, you tap to level it out. All those foils are gonna come up to the top. They're the lightest, they're gonna come up to the top. The heavier parts are gonna go to the bottom. So if you don't want pretty much a full foiled layer for that next layer, you wanna mix it up really nice. Or what I'm actually gonna do more of is forcefully moving some of the foils out of the way so that I have less in the area where I'm gonna be laying my nail in because I don't want um, too heavy of coverage with the foils yet. I wanna place some foils instead. All right, I pressed down. There are some like harder kind of shard pieces in here. There's glitters, there's all kinds of goodies, but press it down can get everything kind of settled. And then I'm just gonna go around the cuticle and clean up any overhang. Okay, so now we've got two coats on there and it's looking really cool. And honestly, for all of the, the chunky things in here, it lays down pretty nicely. It's, I don't have a whole lot that are sticking up. Um, so putting clear over and filing is not going to be too much of a nuisance, which is always fantastic. But I am going to add just a little bit more of the um, black foil on here. I think I'm going to put a piece like around here. And then I'm gonna work with some of the pieces that are on here and just get them to bleed out a little bit. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of base on the end of my little dotting tool here. Maybe my uh, water marbling tool here. Epsom black foil. You see, it's already starting to break apart a little. The moment it hits that dip base, it just start, starts to disintegrate. It's such a delicate, delicate foil. Now the next part, I'm gonna be preparing the nail for clear to go over the top, but in doing that, I'm gonna kind of um, go a little heavy handed over some of that black foil to get it to bleed a bit more. It'll kind of, kind of bleeds into the cracks of the colors and adds to like some dimension adds like some texture to it just really cool and you can see there's even a little bit of ink at the bottom of the the brush here so I can use that and just deposit ink in different parts if I want it All right, now that's dry. I'm giving it a very, very, very light buff. I just want it to be like not shiny. I'm gonna get rid of that shiny surface because uh, I'm gonna use a pencil here to kind of draw out where I want the geode to go. Now for the outside part of this geode, I decided I want to do kind of, I mean, it's not really an ombre, but um, I like how sometimes with geodes, the stone part will kind of fade from one color to another. And I wanted to do that with this um, teal, um, have it closer to the stone part, um, and then black on the outside. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do just a little bit of like a tap. I'm going to tap the... Um, the teal one at the edge closest to the stone area. 
not really any kind of tape I can put down. Uh, you could, I mean, you could cut tape out in the shape of the geode hole the way you want it and put that down and then do this around it. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to carefully get as much liquid off the brush as possible so that it's not spilling and I'm just going to very carefully go along kind of that line that I drew. I'm just going to do one side at a time so I'm starting with this side. I'm going to grab my little brush and then turn my nail so that um, when I sprinkle on, sprinkling it from the inside part, I guess. Okay, now um, for the next part, when I start, before I start to fill this in actually, um, I kind of want to put a little bit of uh, colored or like a line or something to mark out the edges here because the glitter I'm using doesn't have a really like um, clear, like very vibrant color to show a big um, drastic color difference or uh, line of demarcation, I guess, between where the stone part is and where the rest is. Now we are going to be putting foil down as well, but I really just want to make sure that um, my skin color showing through or my uh, nail bag color showing through isn't going to mess with the look of this. I'm just going to be using my Micron um, pen to just kind of color in around this area. Okay, so I have the gold part on there, and yes, it is a little bit wider than I want it to be. It's difficult to get really, really, really precise application with the foil gel, but um, luckily transfer foil scrapes off really easily, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scrape it off on like the lower portion, so the center part um, most of the way, not entirely up to the edge. Um, and then I'm going to scrape just the slightest bit off just to make sure there's kind of an even area around the edge. It's not too thick. Okay, now even if the glitter doesn't cover perfectly along that line, um, you're still going to not see through to the nail bed, which is the goal. Okay. Now we are going to do this again. I'm going to do the pour over part for this just to get those small glitters in there covered in that area. And I'm going to fill this um, by hand again. So I'm going to get as little liquid on the brush as possible and just come in here and really just try and, and hug that edge. You know, what I really should have done was put a layer of 
gel base or something over this foil after I was finished with it because I don't want to end up messing it up trying to clean up any overhang so I'm just gonna have to be really really careful um, to make sure that there's not glitters that are going over the top of that gold Okay, yay, top coat time. So I'm gonna just use my ultra shine gel on this, on these bad boys. And uh, let's see how this came out. I'm gonna do a nice up close um, top coat for you. Oh, yeah, so. Still got a little more cleanup to do, but I think these are really cool. They're um, definitely transitioning more into uh, colder weather type nails, which I'm okay with, but I love this. I think that this dip um, was really cool for a geode, and I'm glad I waited for these to try it. I actually have another geode idea when I was doing this. Um, thought up another one I want to try so you may be seeing another one from me in the future we will see but as always thank you so much for joining me don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content and I will see you next time